Okay, last thing I'm going to do before I start drawing is I'm going to go ahead and set up a grid. So I'm going to go up to Tools, Grid, and before I click anywhere, I need to type in a number. So you'll see this is going to change. Don't click here, just notice that this is going to change in a moment. I'm going to hit 5 on my keyboard, and I'm going to hit Enter. So I'm telling it I'm using a spacing of 5. So it's three clicks. It's the bottom left-hand corner, click once bottom right hand corner and then upper right hand corner. Okay, so now we're starting to see something. Now I'm going to go ahead and save my work and I'm going to go ahead and start thinking about the outline of my car body. Now there's one part of your car which would be very helpful if I had something like a front airfoil. I want to make sure that the front of my car um, is drawn properly in relation to the front airfoil. So here's something you can do. If you go to File, Import, and you go to your folder on your H drive, you could bring in parts. Now, you'll notice I may not see anything, so I'm going to change this from 3DS to SketchUp files. There they are. I'm going to bring in my front airfoil just to use as a as a reference. I'm going to hit open. Now this is actually a three-dimensional part as you can see here but I'm going to place it on my drawing exactly where it's located and it just so happens that it goes right here. I'm going to click. Now keep in mind that this is a 3D part. We're going to actually delete that later. Let me go ahead and return back to front view. Now, you could bring in your rear airfoil, you could bring in your side pod, and you can also start to check things like the wheel well size. But for right now, I'm going to leave that like so. So now I come into using lines and arcs. So keeping in mind that we have this drawing in front of us, we have a ruler in our hand, I can measure and pretty much figure out exactly where to start drawing. According to my drawing, I need to start actually right here at this guide. So I'm going to click once, twice, and as we've talked about before, sometimes to make these outlines, you have to use multiple arcs. And use the hand tool. I'm going to pan over a little bit. If you're having trouble seeing where a line ends, what I like to do sometimes is I go to View, and I'll turn off my guides temporarily. And that way, if, when I click on the Line tool, I can actually make sure I'm clicking right at the end of that point. can also turn them back on if I need to. Okay, so this is where this really helps. So now that I can see where the front airfoil is going to be situated, I can go ahead and literally, if this is the way it's supposed to look, if it's supposed to be the same shape as my front airfoil, I can draw something that has very similar features. Okay, I may or may not like that. I might hit Control Z. Let me try that again. There we go. And you can start to see that having that on the drawing is very helpful, very beneficial. All right. Now, once again, I could have done that also by importing my rear airfoil and maybe even my side pod. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some things here that I don't need. For example, I'm going to hit E for erase. I'm going to get rid of this front airfoil. Okay. I'm going to go ahead also get rid of some of this geometry I don't need. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. You can see there's a nice outline. If I want to get rid of the grid, you actually have to right click on it. So I'm going to use the select tool, select the grid, and then right click and hit erase. I'm going to leave all of these guidelines. Those are very helpful. I'm going to hit P for push pull. Go ahead and hover. Click once, move away, and type in 32, 32, 32, and hit enter. Okay, 